Peace, it's your boy Oh God, Hip Hop News Uncensored, man. Um, these are the stories that are very, very tough to do. I was just scrolling about an hour ago and I had the uh, opportunity to view the unfortunate news of Tyler Perry's nephew. Now, um, I'm gonna give a little bit of the backstory and then I'll get into what exactly is going down and the controversy behind it. Now, uh, Tyler Perry's nephew, Gavin Porter, reportedly died in his jail cell yesterday. Now, um, the 26-year-old is Tyler Perry's nephew from his sister. Um, pretty much they said that's that down in St. Helena, Paris, in Louisiana, he was in a prison. They're saying that he got into a fight with an inmate. And after that fight with the inmate, he was moved into solitary confinement. Um, after he was in solitary confinement for a while, the prison guards came around six o'clock. They checked them. They came back around for another round around eight o'clock. And that's where they found him hanging in his jail cell. Now, Gavin's family, which is the name of the deceased Tyler Perry's nephew, just 26 years old. His family was pretty much told that there was no foul play, but the family reportedly is not buying it. They're pretty much sticking to the fact that it was some foul play. They're not getting into exactly what happened, but they think it's pretty much strange, you know, um, for this to happen so suddenly after he was just good when they came around. All of a sudden, they said he would, they found himself, you know, hanging from one of the um, bed sheets. Now, why is he in prison? I know a lot of people are going to ask me that. Back in 2016, here's another creepy part about this story here. Back in 2016, Gavin was arrested for shooting and killing his biological father in front of of his mother in front of Tyler Perry's sister. Uh, he pled no contest to manslaughter and he was actually sentenced to 20 years. So he was doing a 20 year sentence at the time, you know, um, and you know, he got into a fight, you know, you're in prison or the county, you get into a fight. Usually they'll separate you one, put you in solitary confinement. Then they'll separate you in Jersey. They call them pods and put you in another pod and move that person to another pod. Sometimes in rare cases, they'll keep you there, but most of the time they'll move you. But um, depending on what happened, I remember one time um, this dude popped off on the CO, and next thing you know, they, they don't necessarily put you on a straight jacket, but they'll put you on the stripes down here, which will be the people who's in um, solitary confinement. But um, yeah, man, the family, Tyler Perry's family is saying foul play. Again, they're not giving us any details of why they think it's foul play, but we'll definitely continue to keep you updated if there's more, you know, updates on that particular case. But as always, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the situation. Also, if you want to help the platform, smash the like button right there on the screen and make sure, make sure this is very important. If you subscribe to the channel, there's a little notification bell. You have to click the notification bell and hit the option that says get all notifications from this channel. That's the only way you're going to find out when breaking news happens. If you just want to wait around and scroll, you probably won't get it like that. The best way is to make sure you hit the notification bell, man. Also, if you're looking to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, those links are conveniently located right down below me in the description box. You can actually do it right now while I'm talking. Go follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. You can make sure you follow us and like our Facebook page. And I'll be remiss if I did not say this. This and everything is brought to you by HipHopUN.com. HipHopUN.com is our official website that keeps all this going. Uh, we got a lot of great articles going out each and every day on HipHopUN.com. There's a staff that works over there diligently every day to try to get out the articles and keep the news as up to date as possible. So that link is also in the description is hip hop, the letter U N dot com for all your latest hip hop news, movies, sports. We got everything going over there. Now, as you know, the hip hop on sensor podcast, I can find that as well. iTunes, Spotify, Google play, anywhere you can find podcasts, you will find the hip hop on sensor podcast, but yeah, man, um, crazy turn of events. That one shocked me to see that particular story. And I say, no, let me talk about this and share this with the people and see what they got to say about this. Because, um, you know, things happen all the time. Obviously, you know, in prisons and jails. But for the family now to be coming out to say, okay, it's foul play. 
what are they trying to say? We've seen a lot of instances where things have happened behind a wall that a lot, not a lot of people, you know, um, want to shed light on and talk about. But um, definitely, definitely, let me know what y'all think. Smash that like button. And if you get an opportunity, and if you get an opportunity, you better get an opportunity, share this video by way of um, Facebook or text it to a friend. Share the link, text it like, yo, man, text these, these dudes out. They are fire. Now, speaking of lawsuits in prisons, we reported here on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast the other day that Jay-Z and Yo Gotti was pretty much forming Voltron along with Rock Nation and several other entities to sue the state of Mississippi. Now we found out today that Jay-Z and Yo Gotti hope over 150 inmates filed second lawsuits against the Mississippi Department of Correction for what they're saying is barbaric, barbaric prison conditions. Now the backstory on this, they say on Wednesday, February 26th, the Social Justice Department of Rock Nation filed a second civil lawsuit against the Mississippi Department of Corrections on behalf of 152 more inmates. Now, Team Rock is requesting that the barbaric conditions at the Mississippi State Penitentiary at Parchman are immediately addressed, immediately. They're also requesting that a full plan to eliminate the health and safety risk for inmates is developed within just... 90 days now we did a video on this we show some of the deplorable conditions in that prison and i'm telling you man it's like you don't really want to show because it just looks sick but um they go on to say the lawsuit noted that the that deplorable living conditions and situations that the inmates are reportedly facing many times the food is adulterated with rat feces cockroaches rock bird droppings and other foreign matter um the toilets routinely back up and flood the prison cells, which allow fecal matter, urine, and water to cover the floors and drain out into the main housing unit. They say the portable water system at Parchman is contaminated with human feces, presumably from the sewer system. Prisoner, unprisoner violence is rampant, and at times is facilitated by corrupt guards seeking to curry out favors for inmates. So they also go on and say, I got to give it to you all because you got to get the full scope of what's going on. So bad is the medical care at Parchment, the inmates have resorted to lighting fires in conditions of total confinement where escape from the smoke and flames is impossible simply to draw attention to the immediate or the emergent medical issues in the housing unit. Now, there are videos all over. Thank God. Thank God for cell phones and things like that where we're able to actually see these conditions. Now, I implore you, I'm going to show as much as I can on YouTube. Hopefully, somebody at hiphopun.com does a great story where you guys can look at it and see all the deplorable, sick, and disgusting conditions that not even your worst enemy, you will want your worst enemy, you know, um, to live in. So I didn't really believe it. But when you see it, when you see it, you got some things you have to just see. You're hearing about it. We're living in a life of luxury. We're good. We're not really focused on that. We go into the crib. We got king size beds. But these guys are living in perpetual hell and they don't deserve it. Yeah, they may have their crimes. Some may be innocent. Some may be guilty. They may deserve to be behind the wall in whatever system you agree with. But for them to live in those type of conditions, I think um, is a travesty. And you have to salute, once again, Jay-Z and Yo Gotti for bringing immediate attention. The last video we did, we talked about them bringing the feds in, you know, um, for some immediate attention. So now they filed another lawsuit. And that's how sometimes you got to hit people in their pocket. You can't always stand around and want to pray about stuff and hope that things get better. Sometimes you got to take it, their game against them, get their lawyers, get hungry, and put a lawsuit on them. And make some things happen. Now they gave a 90 day period. With some things to change. Imagine that. Look at the videos man. I'm telling you man. Like it's, it's. Oh man. And to think. That this could even be allowed. And then you could probably go over. There's probably other prisons. Because when we put the video up. The first thing you see. Is people who have been in prison. I even had people hit me. That was in Mississippi prison. And they'll tell you. Yo it's like this and here. And this and that and this. I have been a little, did a little bit of time, nothing crazy, and I've seen some of the conditions, and of course, I hated it. 
I'm like, yo, how can anybody get used, you know, to anything like this? And they move when they want to move. It's like they don't give a damn, them guards. And then it's, you know, it's even more dangerous to now you got the guards who was like, all right, this dude is squirreling. This dude is talking. Let's get another inmate that might have beef with him to go slash him up or let's unlock his gate or whatever. Like when you got it like that, this is huge, man, what Jay-Z and Yo Gotti's doing. This is almost like giving voice to the voiceless because nobody cares about them dudes proverbably. The most, for the most part, I mean, they in jail. You people locked throwing away the key. That's what people think. Who cares how they live in? Nah, it ain't like that. We need to use our platforms and I'm, you know, to, to call out these issues. And that's what we're going to do here at the um, Hip Hop News Uncensored. Once again, like I said, powered and brought to you by Hip Hop. UN.com. So once again, once again, Jay Z and Yo Gotti help over 115 inmates file another lawsuit against the Mississippi Department of Corrections for the barbaric prison conditions they are subjected to each and every day. Man, another one, another one in the books, baby. Hip hop news uncensored. We're going to keep on rocking, man. Hey, man, like always, smash that like button. And go down into the description box and show us some love, man. That's all I would say, man. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I know damn well half of y'all, if not 90% of y'all, is on one of those three every day. Follow us right now. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that so you can keep up with more up-to-date news. We just do the YouTube thing, but we got other people that do the Instagram posts that keep you updated. We got other people at hiphopun.com who are putting articles up every day. People on Twitter and people running to Facebook, you know, to get news and uh, different updates, you know, uh, faster. So once again, man, I definitely 100% appreciate you guys for listening in, you know, to what I had to say today. We'll be back in here tomorrow, you know, shooting the podcast. Uh, I've been talking too much. I'm going to get off of here, man. But um, again, if you, a lot of people ask how they can help. How can how can they you know move the platform?